Hey guys, welcome back to another episode in the deep playthrough of Gran Turismo Sport. We are doing a stage 8 mission challenge and it is number, I have no idea, number 5 or something. Yeah, number 5. Um, let's see the video to check the breaking points and stuff. We are in a Ferrari Enzo and it's open to all N category cars. So no matter the... Challenge a mixed class race with all the N category cars. The Tokyo Expressway East route requires a very high top speed. Select a car with the best top speed possible. So no matter the, uh, the, the level of the N uh, category, you can uh, enter them all. I also did, I have an N700. There, I also had like an N800 car, the Lamborghini Veneno, but I find it a bit uh, ridiculous car. So I'm gonna try my luck with one level below it, the N700 Ferrari Enzo. And it will be ten laps. God damn it! How long is one lap? This is always a tricky corner. I always hit the uh, curbing over there. It for sure does have like a bit to my feel the uh, Need for Speed Underground vibe. Pretty cool. Especially if you decal your car, which you also can do. I haven't spent much time with that actually. I think you can make quite some impressive customization to the uh, appearance and the paint job of your car and the decals. Holy shit! One lap is like two minutes at least. Is that the start finish? No. Yes, it's two minutes, so it's 20 minutes of racing. God damn it. Do I have enough fuel for that? No, it's even longer. He is not even crossing start finish. I think that's start finish, yes. 218 times 10. Alright, whatever. I will give it a try. And why is it started all over again? Weird. Yes, let's just give it a try. Here we go. Pretty nice sound. V12 humming away. Or screaming away. Oops, sorry dude, I was checking my headlights. Alright, first couple of laps I'm gonna... I have to check the... Uh, the course a bit, braking points and stuff. Avoiding stuff like that. You see, I always screw up that bridge, that little tunnel. Royally, but whatever. Still in the race. Ten rounds. Goddammit. Right, 
like I really have to start counting my laps because I don't have a hut. It's quite a slippery car, I must say. It's probably also because I'm going warp speed, but still. This will become lap two. And I hope these are the leaders. Is that a P1 or a, like a regular small one? No idea. Sorry guys, taking it easy here. Just figuring out the track. But of course, it's not really a track of course. And again, screwing up in that corner. It's also because it's downhill that corner doesn't help either with braking. Right, I could have gone quicker over there. Yeah, it's like a regular McLaren. Not even the P1 or anything. Should be quicker than him. Man, my braking is bad. Is that a Renault Alpine over there? No, right? Can't be this quick. Maybe it's an Aston Martin. Point is of course also way earlier. Jesus Christ. Alright, I am going to try to at least make one faultless lap without hitting the barriers. In real life you're of course totally done for if the sight of your wheel and stuff hit curves like that. Right, at least I got through this one right, finally. Three hundred 
150. Yes, finally didn't slam into the wall. like a super quick lap but I didn't hit the barriers yet the curbs pretty close so fun Not hitting them. God damn it. No one. Scathing the right curb. however you say that, nudging it. So it was not totally faultless, but at least better than the previous uh, three laps. I think this is lap five. I'm not sure, but let's go with that. So, after this one, we are halfway. sure how much speed I can take into these bends. This one is actually pretty quick. I wonder about this one. I think it might be as well. Yes, the only problem is then you're hitting this one and there you really have to get some speed out. But the two before that little bridge are actually pretty doable. Once I also have a hard time negotiating. Just as like this one. God damn it. cars in my rear view mirror anymore. Did they went in for a pit? I sure hope you don't need pit in this game. Let's see if I have a gasoline. I do have a gasoline meter but I 
it looks pretty empty. God damn it, do we need to pit? One second, just to be sure. There's not a pit in a Tokyo raceway, right? Let's check it out. Can we see it from here? Gasoline. Yeah, I do still have gasoline, it seems. Laps remaining. Shit, we do have to pit. How stupid is that? How stupid is that? Also, that they didn't mention that in the introductory video. are still fine. off that annoying hut. No idea how far I'm ahead or behind. I do think now I have like soft tires and I think previously I was on hard. So that should make everything a bit easier. catch up to those buggers. I think I see one of them in the distance. Let's let the V12 do its thing.
Right, what was before me? An Aston Martin and I think a McLaren. to get him with pure top speeds although they are no sli slouches either I see two cars ahead that are pretty quick but not 350 kilometers an hour quick like we are Number one spot back, McLaren. Very cool, with active arrow. Ah, thank you. off the timer because I will be exceeding yes I'm hitting the yeah or what I, I will end the um, episode here because then I will keep it at 25 minutes I will continue simply immediately in the next one and then uh, in that next one because the race will if I don't fail will not take too long anymore we will also try to um, tackle one of the other um, uh, outstanding check challenges and that will be it because the working week starts again tomorrow anyways guys hope you enjoyed i hope you will see the ending of this race in the next episode that you will join and i also do advise to always keep on gaming see you later